What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at Logic and Dart. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at Logic and Dart. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at logic and Dart. If statements, if else statements, if else if statements, right? So super easy with Dart. This is just a you know a core fundamental computer programming concept. All programming languages have logic, if statements, things like that. And in Dart, they're pretty straightforward and they're pretty easy to use. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Dart videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we've got our basic Dart starter code, and I'm just calling it logic.dart. So let's start out by creating a variable. I'm just going to call it num, and let's just set it equal to five. So let's start out with a basic if statement, which will allow us to basically check for some condition, ask some sort of question, and then take some action based on the answer, right? Basic logic. So let's go if, and we use our brackets, and now we set our condition. So let's say if num equals, and we use the double equal to sign, it's pretty common in all programming languages. If it equals five, then we wanna do something. And we use our brackets to show what do we wanna do. Well, let's just print to the screen. I don't know, the number is five, <laughs> right? So whatever. So we can go ahead and save this, head over to our terminal, I'm in my C Dart stuff directory, and let's run Dart, logic.dart, and we see, hey, the number is five, which, you know, makes sense because we know our number is five. If we change this to three, save this, run it again, nothing at all is gonna happen. You can see just nothing happens at all because our number didn't equal five, right? Our number's three. So if this is true, then this will get executed. If this is false, then it will skip down to right here, the outside of this bracket here, and then just continue on with the program. We don't have anything else in our program, so it just sort of ends, right? So that's a basic if statement. Let's go ahead and change this back to five. We can also use an if else statement. And this allows us to take some other action if the first statement isn't true. If this is false, do something else, right? An else statement. So to do that, we just call else. Uh, we can then do something else. The number is not five, right? If we save this, what do you think is gonna happen? The exact same thing as before, it's just gonna say the number is five. But if we come back here and change our number to something else, say four or whatever, save this, come back over here, run it again. Now it says the number is not five and we can get really fancy with this if we want. We can say the number is, and then, you know, and we can, I don't know, stick our num in there or something like that. Come back over here, run this again. Because hey, the number is four, right? So very fancy, very sophisticated, right? And uh, that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna change this back to the number is not five. There we go. So that's if, that's if else statement. We can also do an if else if, which allows us to ask more than one question, right? So here we're just asking one question, is num equal to five, right? We can do other things as well. So I'm gonna take this down here. And then after this, we just call else if, and then we could do another condition, right? So to do that, we just, again, use our brackets. We could say, hey, this time test to see if num equals three. I don't know, right? And if it does, then print out the number is three, right? And then we can bring this back up here. So we still have our else statement, and that's all there is to it. So if we look at this, we could say, change this to three. We say, hey, is the number five? If it is, print out the number is five. Well, it's not, so it's gonna skip this and it's gonna come down here to this line. Let's put this up here. And then it's gonna say, oh, well, we've got another condition here. Is the num equal to three? If it is, print this out and then stop. If it's not, follow along down, start with this line right here, and then the number is not five. So if we go ahead and save this, we can pretty much guess what's gonna happen here. We can say the number is three. And we could play around with this, you know, we could change this back to five. If we do that, you know, it's gonna say, hey, the number's five, of course. And we could change this to 51, <laughs> right? Go back over here, save this. Hey, the number is not five. Or if we really wanted to, we could get crazy and say the number is not three or five. 
it is, and then we can put in our num. All right, go ahead and save this, run it, clear the screen. The number is not three or five, it is 51. A silly example, but uh, I think you get the picture. Very easy to use logic with Dart as it is in most programming languages. Now we're using the equal to here. We can use all of our comparison operators, right? So you can use greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal, and all of that. So, you know, you could say, hey, is number greater than five? Well, in this case it is, it's 51, and you get the picture. Or greater than any, or equal to five, right? Whatever, that's how that works. So that's logic with Dart. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and pretty fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeby.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeby.com, and I'll see you in the next video.